the general strike against the duopoly is in 51 days. They're pretty unpopular, you know. Take a look at this chart. We're up to 27% of Americans who think both parties are awful. Now, since I've been involved in politics for decades, I see another pattern here. This chart only goes back to 1994, but I'm going to assume that in 92 it was higher than 6% before it dipped down and then up to 13% in 2000, dipped again and hit 16% in 08, and fluctuated to a new peak in 2016, then dropped down before rising again in 2020. Up until now, the only real choice the American people have had when they realized the party in power wasn't looking out for them was replace it with the other party. And that's why those years were significant, because America has done this repeatedly for decades. After the Reagan Revolution of the 1980s, Democrats swept everything in 1992, and then we threw them out in 2000 in favor of the Republicans. And then we got tired of the warmongering, and we put the Democrats back in charge in 08. And then Donald Trump and the Republicans back in 2016, back to the Democrats in 2020, and who knows what's going to happen in 2024. But that chart showing the rising dissatisfaction suggests things could flip back to total Republican control. When you have a two-party system, that's all you can do is you can take turns swapping the parties in charge. But can you imagine what America could accomplish if the voters could grab that political pendulum and move the country forward? That's the American Union of Swing Voters. First, by being willing to vote as a bloc for either a Republican or a Democrat, we are the deciders. That gives us leverage over Congress. And second, we channel that leverage behind a national set of demands. The blueprint for a better America will end poverty, end mass incarceration, and end the endless wars. By offering this legislation to all members of Congress, plus their opponents, and demanding they enact it before the election in exchange for our votes, we create a new metric, incumbents versus challengers. When the duopoly is our only meaningful choice, voters can go left, right, Democrat, Republican, try the same thing over and over again, but expect a different result. In 51 days, we can stop the insanity with the general strike against the duopoly.